the study focuses on waterfront development in Malwan. The project is called Madwan, Work and Leisure. Lying on the west coast of India, Malwan is a small town known for its historic Sindhuduk fort, area of clean beaches, coral reefs, and its distinctive Malwani culture. Once an emblem of power and vivacity, during the reign of Shivaji Maharaj, the town today is just a mere glimpse of its past chronicles. The economy is crumbling and along with it, the people. The waterfronts of Malwan have always dictated the development of Malwan. For some, the sea is main source of income, while for some, it's holy. Aesthetic beaches of Malwan have attracted many tourists. Malwan is currently developing as a tourist destination. By reviving the waterfronts, the town of Malwan can regain its vivacity. This thesis focuses on embracing the history and culture of Malwan and helping the community to resolve its issues by designing desirable spaces. The project is located on the west coast of India in Maharashtra Sindhudurg district. This map shows a fabric and part of Sindhudurg district and various transport routes to how to get to Malwan. 29 km away from Malwan, Kudal is the nearest railway station. One can also use roadways, waterways and now airways due to the upcoming Chippy Airport on the south. The style of architecture practiced in Malwan is very traditional. The houses built in the rural area have laterite walls and tiled roof. The woodwork in the roof is generally substantial and well built. In urban areas, there are square-built houses with an open central or front courtyard. Here I have done some visual representation of space classification in sections. This shows how the importance is given to a veranda of the house and almost every activity is carried out in veranda. The primary occupation of people in Malwan is agriculture and fishing. Tourism sector is slowly gaining importance. The provisions provided for fishing industries by the government are inadequate. Beaches are used as place for selling fishes and anchoring boats. There are no proper ports, landing decks or markets for the fishermen. Most of the occupation is seasonal and new employment opportunities are constantly reducing. This has led to increase in unemployment rates. People are migrating to cities for better job opportunities. Besides the scenic beauty, Malwan is also famous for its society, Malwani dialect, cuisine. They have their performing art style called the Shavtar, which is a kind of play in which mythical stories of gods are told. Zooming into the area of delineation, I have visited the place and here I have marked some of the well-known places. There is a main Malwan bus stop and the road network radiates to the other places like Tarkarli Beach, Padmagad, Sindhudurg Jetty, Rajkot, Rock Garden. I found that Rajkot had a potential as a site. If we look into the development plan of Malwan 2034, Rajkot is marked as a site reserved for tourist activity along with the neighboring site marked for a park. The site also has allotted a parking area next to it. Rajkot is approximately 2 kilometers away from Malwan bus stop. In between lies the main market of Malwan. As I said earlier that Malwan is famous for its beaches and upcoming tourism, fish auctions are carried on the beach itself and after the auctions, the beaches remain uncleaned. Tourist boats and fishing boats are anchored in haphazard manner in the sea, which slows down the activity of fishermen and tourism and in some way or the other harms the marine ecology of Malwan. Sindhudurg Jetty is the main tourist attraction which is used to carry tourists from Jetty to Sindhudurg Fort. There is no connection or road or any pathway between Sindhudurg Jetty and Rajkot Jetty. The idea was to develop Rajkot into a tourist attraction, connect Sindhudurg Jetty and Rajkot Jetty and get the traffic of fishing boats to Rajkot, leaving the Malwan beach to carry out other tourist activities. The program of the design is made in such a way that it will cater the problem faced by the fish industry of Malwan and simultaneously also provide the space which will attract tourists. This is the map where we can see the fabric of the land. Upper side is the village area where I have marked black squares are the built entities. 
This is the site which is surrounded with rocks which are about 1 to 2 meters in height which protects the site from heavy waves. Brown part is the sandy land which can be created into a marine drive which will lead to the site. This is the classification of the site according to CRZ. Light grey part are the rocks which cannot be touched and the green part in middle is the coconut farm surrounded with remains of the walls of Rajkot Fort. These are some photographs of site where we can see the existing contours and height of rocks. Before designing I marked some physical attributes of the existing site the entrances and the exits which helped me to develop the site according to the program because of which I came up with this master plan. 